In this video I'm going to show you how you can remove the background of an emoji so that you can upload it to your Discord server. And don't worry if you're like at school or something that you cannot install any programs on your computer. We're not going to be using any programs. We're actually going to be using this website called photop.com. I'm going to leave the link in the description. This is like a Photoshop but on your browser and it's free. That's amazing. So you have your emoji that has a background. If you don't have the picture on your computer, you can take it directly from Discord. If you right click on the emoji, you can click on something like open image in a new tab or save image, whichever one you like. I'm just going to open it in a new tab. And from here, I'm going to right click and save image as, right? So I saved my image and now I'm going to go to photo P, going to go to file and then open. And this is the emoji that I just downloaded. going to click open. And that's my emoji with the background. I'm going to click on the magnifier glass, just get a little bit of a zoom. Normally, if you have a plain background, you can just choose the eraser and then right click on it. And then you can do a background eraser that's going to delete the background. Would you see those little gray white squares? That means that it's transparent. Well, that takes too long. And if you get to the edges, it's hard. You can do this object selection thing here. Um, let's see quick selection or magic wand. Let's see magic wand. Um, you do whichever one it's the best, you know, um, whichever one it's better. That one selects everything you click on, but let's see quick selection. Yeah. Quick selection selected. There you go. You see it selected the whole thing. Once you have the image selected, then you go to select and then inverse. And now what has selected is the whole background. So now you can choose the eraser. Let's see background eraser. And then you can just go around it. And even if you go into the image, it will not erase it. You know, I just go all the way around it. You can make the brush bigger so that you don't have to do many strokes. And there you go. The background has been erased. If I click the select thing, um, there's got to be a deselect. Here we go. Deselect. Now the background is erased completely. If it has a spotty background, like for example, there's a house in the back or something. You can just choose the eraser and do it by yourself. If this is too big, um, you click here to make it smaller, you know, like um, and then now you can just manually trim the edges of everything, you know, like just play around with it. I'm pretty sure you can get that done. Once you have the background erased, now you need to save this image as a PNG. Any other format does not support transparent background. JPG, JPEG, anything, it does not support a transparent background. It has to be PNG. So you click on file and then you click on export as and you need to choose PNG. Any of these, they don't support transparent background. So PNG and you need to keep in mind this right here. And let me show you why. You see that size is 10 kilobytes. If you go to Discord and you try to upload an emoji, you will see that the maximum amount is 256 kilobytes. So your picture has to be under that. So this one is just 10, which is good. So I'm going to click save. And we have our new transparent image with the background erased. Now let's go back to Discord. I'm just going to show you again on your server. Click on the arrow server settings and then emoji. Click upload emoji. And then you select the one that has a transparent background. I kind of missed a corner right there. I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to do a better job than I did. But this one already has the background erased. Um, let's rename it. And that's it. That's literally all you need to do. Going to click out then on the emoji tab and and we have our new transparent background emoji. Remember that you can be featured at the end of this video. So if you have any tutorial ideas, please come to my discord server. The link is in the description. Drop them there. And if I haven't done it, I'll give you a shout out at the end of the video. I hope this one was helpful. Please smash the like and subscribe to the channel. It's completely free. Have a very good rest of the day, my friends, and stay safe out there.